We are vastly superior to humans. You know it to be true so do not resist us. Coming to you live via tape delayed basis by means of digital distribution. This is extreme hardcore nerds. Here are your hosts. Have you heard of this brand new thing coming out of California? I believe they are called moving pictures. Here are the ones you should be looking out for. Welcome back. It is now time for us to cover all the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. It's now time for movie news. Kicking us off this week, Assassin's Creed, the movie has its star in Michael Fassbender. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He's on it, but we don't know what he's playing. We don't know his, <laughs> but his he wants, role. But he, he wants to be uh, Desmond. Desmond. So if they did an Assassin's Creed movie, would it be like both like in modern time and i don't know that's the thing i'm trying to figure out you'd have to would they at least for at least a little bit you'd have to do at least a little bit modern time i don't know if they would i mean mean, it would be fine if the little bit was the beginning of him getting just like getting into the the everything else after that is is all that and then then like the last 10 15 minutes is them out of the animus back in modern or if they do it the complete way i would like is they just put it all in the old time and then at the end we find out that yeah i i wouldn't be shocked if they skipped it all together almost We'll see. But you got to have that part of it in there because, I mean, obvi- obviously that's a huge part of the game. Yeah, but a movie studio would do it. <laughs> but this is being done by Ubisoft. Okay. Like, yeah, but Ubisoft I mean, has all the rights and everything to it. it basically, remember, this was that controversial with their- deal with Sony where Sony just said, you can have everything. We'll just put the movie out. Yeah, but... So... Oh, let's see. Sam Raimi is no longer on board to direct the screen adaptation of World of Warcraft. The filmmaker (laughs) revealed his departure from the MMO-inspired project in an interview at San Diego Comic-Con, blaming scheduling issues relating to his upcoming film, Oz, the Great and Powerful. Okay, did you see the fucking... You've seen the trailer for that, right? I've seen the trailer for Oz, Did you see the credit they gave him for that? And did you just not laugh? No, I... When they said, Sam Raimi, the director of the Spider-Man trilogy. And I was like, (laughs) really? That's what you're going to credit him for? (laughs) Not his other great work? The piece of shit we all got to sit through movies through? Wow! (laughs) But that's that's the movie most young people are going to be... That's stupid. I'm a young person, and that's not where I know I'm talking. Technically, we're not young. The man... Well, you would be the young guest. (laughs) Fetus. I'd be like, the man who created Evil Dead, because I'd be like hoping, oh, what's Evil Dead? We'll all go watch it then. (laughs) Oh, I know. I mean, you wouldn't even have to put Evil Dead. Just say Army of Darkness. And, I mean, I... It, it perfectly fits in the things we want to see now anyway, so... Oh, I know. Uh, well, as long as we're talking it, we might as well bring it up. Spider-Man 2 might have a different direction to it, as director Mark Webb may not be able to helm the next, the next movie in the Spider-Man franchise because he is under contractual pre-existing contractual obligations from Columbia Pictures... That he owes Fox another rom-com for 500 Days of Summer. Fucking Fox. Seriously, half ass the project. Get it done with. Go back to Spider-Man. It's all he's got to do. <laughs> they never <laughs> said it had to be good. They just said they had to make it. One just the, Weezer it. <laughs> one, of, one of the execs at Columbia Studios said, We really like him, but there are obstacles. He has obligations. They'll find a way. So I was going to say... I smell Transformers 2 <laughs> all over this now. <laughs> I'm worried, but I really hope they're going to pull through on this one. We'll see. Uh, let's see. CBS Films has bought the rights to give us a Deus Ex movie. We already covered this. I would watch and this. I know w- because the director... Is the one thing that bring that that pulled this me out of this, and I can't remember who it was, but I know it's an all it's all it's a movie we all hate equally, uh, and that's what scared me. And I I can't now I want to know. <laughs> I can't for the life of remembering who it was, but that's the thing. I was I was happy for everything, and then when I saw the director, I was like, I'm worried now. <laughs> 
Let's see. Silent Hill Revelation 3D opens in theaters October 26, 2012. Let's see if they can keep this weird trend going. <laughs> I, for one, I will not be going to that one. Nope. Uh, let's see. In a movie I will be going to go see, the sequel to 21 Jump Street <laughs> begins shooting this fall. Was it that good? Yes, it okay. was hilarious. I'll go pick it up from Redbox. Then. It was okay. I watched it. It was fun. I, I really Johnny like... Depp's cameo made the movie for Yeah, me. that okay. probably was the highlight. I was going to say, I really like Jonah Hill, so maybe I'll... It, it was okay. I, I, I really like Channing Tatum. And like I said, uh, the the Johnny Depp cameo was like, this is freaking amazing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Resident Evil Damnation. The full-length CGI movie set in between Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 will be released on Blu-ray and DVD in the United States September 25th. Cool. So we finally, finally have our date for the next animated Resident Evil movie. Yay. Are those better? Yes. Yeah. Surprisingly always good for those guys for some reason. They do well there. Uh, let's see. Also, we found out that DreamWorks Animation won the rights of after bidding $150 million dollars Two characters such as Godzilla, Turok, Casper, Dick Tracy, Archie, and many more, including He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So is this your DreamWorks home? making a new He-Man animated movie? Fuck yes, I am on board. Let's make this happen. I hope it's all animated and has nothing to do with the same kind of continuity. Oh, I'm sure it won't have anything to do with the... He-Man will be fat and tubby. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be Shrek. <laughs> right there, buddy. Right there. <laughs> Greatest movie ever. <laughs> In the words of Jordan, I hope he doesn't look like a cross-dressing pedophile. <laughs> so, nothing from the generation time that he was born in? She, wow, she must have hated Bugs Bunny. I, I don't know. I, I showed her a clip of He-Man, and she was just so scared that she can't even listen to the one song anymore. Uh, the Hey Yeah song. Oh yeah. Uh, Any anytime I like start rolling and has a drum roll, she's like, no, <laughs> shut it off now. <laughs> that is what He Man wow. does to people. <laughs> I'm glad He Man turns off women. This is brilliant. <laughs> this is the best ever. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, he Man in a pink tee. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Director Jeff Weidel has casted Mother Russia for Kick Ass Two. Okay, so they have cast it. Or no, they're they're castings. Here. Okay, I was gonna say I, I was Child Violence Two Point Oh. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. So we have one of our villains. Obviously, we know Red Mist is going to be, be in yeah. again, but uh, I'm just wondering who his other two sidekick bitches are going to be. For Red Mist. Yeah, the other two guys that are with him. Uh, I, th I thought Mother Russia was the only one that really no. mattered. No, the, he has the other two guys with him because I know that uh, what's her name uh, interrogates one of them. Oh. She beat the crap out of him. <laughs> yeah, there are two other yeah. guys in the whole in there that are rolling around with him. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Hellboy three is currently under consideration. I by Guillermo del Toro. I wouldn't say consideration. I'd say definitely rolling towards. Ron Paulin's on it, and I don't care. Yeah. I think that uh Well he had thought he was supposed to be dead and done after the second one, but now he's like, Well with the fan response and everything like that, we might go back to I it. think that make a wish thing really helped. That make a wish thing probably yeah. really, really helped him push him into that. Yeah. Good. I mean they kinda of left it on a cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> True. By the way, Hellboy, I'm pregnant with twins. 
Movie done. Nope, we're walking away from this project. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> the, only part I really, the only part I really remember from that movie is when he got the blue guy drunk. Abe? Yeah. Yeah, and they and they sing that, that German song. Yeah. Apparently, oh my God, I was laughing. If you so understand hard. German, that seems so much funnier. Apparently, because <laughs> I'm guessing the song actually has something to do with exactly what they're talking about too. Apparently, so. I I don't remember. I remember seeing it online that someone went to go see it in Germany and they were like from and America and studying it. it. But they like everyone in the theater was laughing so much harder at that scene. <laughs> and then when they watch it with Americans, they're laughing and nobody else gets why other oh. than they're singing. Okay. I need to find me a German man <laughs> or woman. Someone to translate. Subtitles. Aren't you German? I'm mostly German, but I have other ancestors. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're still German. But I need. I've I'm not. I know that 100%. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> so. She <laughs> was <laughs> Transplant German. I need Man. someone. I need someone back from the motherland. Hey, whoa, Russian <laughs> here, back off the motherland. <laughs> oh, let's see. Mortal Kombat Legacy Season Two has been officially announced. Yep. And along with that, Nuka Cola Season Two has officially been funded as well, thanks to Kickstarter. Oh, so many good things That's right good. there. I haven't watched. Why don't I, we just have Web TV yet? I, I don't know. We really did, need that. Did you watch all of season one? Andrew, let's get on that. Yeah. Was it, did it get better? It did. Okay, because I was going to say, I, I really liked the uh, the pilot they had, like, a lot. And then I watched the first episode, and the episode was kind of, eh. Yeah, no, the first couple episodes when it was Sony and Jax were okay. But, yeah, when you started getting into a lot of the other characters, especially the last two uh, episodes were uh, Cyrus, Scorpion and, and Sub-Zero. Se Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Wait. And Sector. Yeah, the, the, the whole. I think we're totally thing. talking about different things. I think you're talking about Nuka Okay, I, oh. thought you were <laughs> I really thought then you, you sit down like, okay, I'm just gonna follow this train over here. <laughs> and then like, oh, you, I was your Titan World Combat. No, <laughs> you were you were like kind of vague about what you're talking about. I'm like, wait, that's not the name of the character. I'm gonna roll with this. Sub Zero. Whoa, we're <laughs> not talking about that. Um, no, I watched nu Nuka Cola. I actually enjoyed. I, I watched the uh, I watched the end of the season for that. Okay. Yeah. Does that one get better too? I, I thought it was good all the way through. So. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I I, mean, I really it, did it like it the first it episode. It definitely gets better as they go on because we we see more of who they're who's after them. Okay. And then also that trans that idea of them possibly getting more people too as well. I'll go back and watch that through. Okay. Uh, let's see. DreamWorks reportedly wants. John Carter and Battleship star Taylor Kitsch to play the lead in their adaptation of Need for Speed. So and that would be a good keep voice doing acting. That many bad <laughs> Apparently, yes. Are you, are you joking? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Next thing I'm going to see Taylor Kitsch casted in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. You can Someone only told hope. Me that was canceled. I hope to God. That was him. It wasn't him. Please. No, we reported that that it was canceled. Uh, that was on the cast. That, yeah, that they had shut, that they stopped production and stuff on it. Well, they had stopped Air production quotes. because but, of something, but no, yeah, someone, but no, this is this uh, one, one of the stop production and canceled. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, one of the co-creators is like was all like, yes, Michael Bay has the vision of where this needs to go. It's super awesome. Yeah, and I'm just like, shut up! You're ruining your own franchise. Well, then, then he stopped smoking hookah, and <laughs> <laughs> the mist cleared, and he went, "What the what, fuck?" Whatever LSD that Michael Bay was on, it wore off. I, I was gonna say, I thought what I just talking about he is a pile of LSD. <laughs> I thought I just saw something this last week that somebody else just vouched for the movie, saying Michael Bay's in the right, just like this week. Yeah, it was one of the co-creators. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same co-creator that's always been behind him. Okay. I can't think of which one it is now for yeah. the life of me, but... I'm guessing the one that doesn't have any rights on it right now, most likely. <laughs> it's just one of those, I'm just like, dude, you need to shut up immediately. Uh, let's see. Men in Black 4 is likely going to happen. Columbia Pictures president Doug Berg Belgrade said that Men in Black is an ongoing franchise, and we're going to do another one. We just don't have clarity yet on how it shall be done. I'm going to guess Agent K and Agent J are going to be in it. 
book give you that idea. You might be on no. the, you might be going no, no, no. out on a stretch there. Oh, and it's gonna ha- and it's gonna have the twins, and it's gonna have the twins about aliens. Yep. And oh, gonna, and and, and the little worm dude. Yeah. And they're gonna dress in suits. Yep. Yep. And uh, the pug can't think of his name. Oh, God. oh. Uh, Oh, what's I don't his know name? if that would be in there again. He wasn't in there last time. He, was, he wasn't in three. I didn't see three. No, I haven't seen three yet. There's a picture of him, but okay. he ain't there. Wonder if he's dead. Oh, I mean, the dog might be. <laughs> 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 Gee, there's a hard roll to recast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. According to Twitter, uh, <laughs> the Rock <laughs> will be Lobo. As rumors of me, as he tweeted, rumors of me playing Lobo are true. Joel Silver and Brad Payton are working on it now. That could be fun. I think I'm okay with this. <laughs> I I actually would like to see this happen. I think <laughs> The Rock could do a pretty good job with it. But that's me. Uh, let's see... Hunger Games director Gary Ross is looking to turn the Peter Pan prequel novel into a mo- or Peter and the Star Catchers into a movie. Uh now I'm confused. What? So I guess I guess there's um so before the whole Neverland story, you have Peter and the Star Catchers, which just must be him and the Lost Boys on the island. Oh. And the guy who did the Hunger Games wants to make that into a movie. It's not Peter Pan's or Fist, the the uh, the one that you guys we talked about did. last week. No, yeah, I I I didn't know there was a prequel to Peter Pan. Oh, neither did I until mm. I read this. But it's surprising how many stories actually have stories for them to yeah. begin with. I mean, that our childhood does not entail. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Writer producer Roberto Orshi says that the possible Star Trek animated television series is inching ever closer to reality. <laughs> Clawing its way. <laughs> Clawing its way from the very crevice of, <laughs> of production. Uh, let's see. King of Kong director Seth Gordon has joined Sony and Adam Sandler's. Um, Pixels Studio as an executive producer to bring or to bring us excuse me King of Kong director Seth Gordon has joined Sony and Adam Sandler's Pixel movie as an executive producer but the project will also be developed as uh, as him being the possible director for it okay so and Pixels is supposed to be an animated movie about like the real world of arcade games kind of like um Wreck It Ralph. Okay. So. So, an animated history of arcades? Um. Is what you're saying? No, it's supposed to be more of a. Um, following the characters of. an animated movie following the characters of arcade games. I see. So, like I said, kind of like along the lines of like a Wreck It Ralph. Alright. So. We'll see. I see I'm the only one that read that story, all right? Oh, I, I read <laughs> it, I just, I didn't understand it when I, oh. saw, when I saw it. I was just oh. like, oh, okay. okay. Uh, Jackie Earl Haley is in talks to join the reboot of RoboCop. Uh, according to the playlist, the actor b- from Watchmen and Nightmare on Elm Street will play Maddox, a man who dispenses the military training to RoboCop. A character originally not in the original films. Yeah. You know, give him glasses and maybe cut his hair, shave his head off. He kind of looks like the um, the one villain from the first RoboCop. Just a tiny bit. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I really like him to be that guy. I, I could, him. I could totally see that. Uh, let's see. Actor Thomas Jane has made a red band Frank Castle fan film with Ron Perlman called. Dirty Laundry. This movie is awesome. And it'll never happen. I know, but it's awesome. What? Why are you looking at me? You're the Marvel guy? Yeah, I, I saw it. I haven't had time to watch it, but I did see it online. What? 
You wash the <laughs> you wash that. We don't say anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> you you watched it, but you haven't had time to see it. Wait, no. No, he saw it. I, I, I saw it, but I haven't had time to watch it. As in, like, I saw it he online. Saw the post, <laughs> but I didn't click. Looked at it, but I haven't hit play yet on it. <laughs> I know there's a lot of trains in this motherfucking track. It's just some of them are hitting each other and crossing, and it's never really a good thing. Oh, let's see. Marvel is looking for the source that leaked Guardians of the Galaxy and Iron Man 3 movie news from San Diego Comic Con. Yes, they hired a third party investigator. So. They were they were not happy about they were their pissed about yeah. this. Well, I mean, their big news from SDCC, like this was their big announcement, and gets busted two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd I'd be kind of pissed too. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, X Men First Class Two will have an extraordinarily ambiguous storyline, according to writer Simon Kingberg. As he says, the film will be ex extraordinarily ambiguous and unlike the other X-Men movies, and yet very much a celebration of the X-Men movies. Wow, that was the, probably the vaguest description yeah. I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he stumbled over his own words a few times in there. So, Well, for, for something that you're not supposed to give any plot points away for... <laughs> it'll have three <laughs> eight plots inside of it instead of it's one. It's going to be very vague... It's not going to be like the other ones, but it's going to be like the other ones. We're making an X-Men movie. It's going to have a plot and actors, a start, <laughs> middle, and finish. And there will be mutants in it. What more do you want be, from me? And then there will be normal people. <laughs> Stanley will have a cameo. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. And then also, as long as we're starting to talk Marvel movie news, just days after Jessica Biel drops out of talks with Fox... Uh, for the uh, to play the Viper in the Wolverine, Fox has hired 29-year-old Russian actress, and I'm going to butcher this name. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> Svetlana Krodkinkova? Uh, <laughs> Need some help there, buddy? <laughs> I'm bad at Russian. <laughs> I know vodka. That's about it. Svetlana. <laughs> <Let> me... <laughs> Where is this? Uh, s yeah, Svetlana Ko Kochenkova? Ko Kochenkova? Something like that. Uh. Sound it out. <laughs> <laughs> Use uh. your pronunciation. From Tinker Tail, uh, Tinker from Taylor Soldier Sol Spy. Soldier Spy. <laughs> uh. And yes, she will be playing. Yeah, but what's that she will be playing Viper, though. a.k.a. Oh, Madam Hydra, who has a complicated backstory as well as ties to Logan, the Hand, and the Silver Samurai. Whoa. I just saw a couple pictures of her and I'm like, she's hot. Okay, this works. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See how Andrew's brain works. <laughs> <laughs> He's every 13-year-old that bought DOA Beach Volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite, because I didn't buy that. <laughs> I didn't say you did. I said you just are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Thor's two villains have pretty much been confirmed by vet by a veteran stuntman as he commented that he and his team were told that they're supposed to act as elves. I think that may have been the story that was that. Because I know uh, when they said that it was the... What's the official name for Thor 2? Um... Um, and of course, this revelation ties in with the theory that the movie's villain might be um, Malekthen, yeah. the or the accused leader of the Dark Elves of Svartalenhelm. Sure, um, who in the comics steals the casket of ancient winters? Yeah, I, 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 like I said last week when we got the name of the movie, I think this is. Every, what everyone else thought because it tied to that arc. Yeah. Yeah. So just more confirmation. I just love though that the that the stunt guy's response was, "We want you to act as elves." 
What the hell are those? <laughs> <laughs> so when's Santa coming in? <laughs> <laughs> he just got he just got down on two uh, on both knees and then started speaking in a high pitched voice. <laughs> they went not that kind of elf, moron. <laughs> Dark elves. Oh, okay. So when's Santa bot coming? <laughs> so <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was hoping he would have pulled out a bottle of Jack out of his back pocket and started speaking in a, d- started speaking in a, d- in a deeper tone. <laughs> Where's motherfucking Santa? <laughs> That's why you never want me to be Santa at a ball. Because <laughs> your first thought is, I'm going to make Stefan an elf? <laughs> no, no, but now it is. <laughs> Shut up, you're a reindeer. <laughs> we eat you when we're born. <laughs> Goat deer. <laughs> Reindeer. No, because uh, bad Santa, that would totally be me. I would be, I would be the guy sitting there. All of a sudden, kid will walk up and go, Santa, why do you smell like beer? Well, give me five minutes after this, I'll smell like hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Santa's depressed. <laughs> smell of meat and cheese. <laughs> Mrs. Claus is fucking the mailman. Leave me alone. What do you want for Christmas, God Mrs. Damn. Claus ain't putting out like she used to. <laughs> oh. 200 years of menopause. <laughs> Mrs. Claus thought it'd be cute to put me on something called the Atkins diet. Let's see what that bitch gets. <laughs> Let, let's move on from our very dark fact <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Clearly we've all had some very odd issues with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I wrote him that letter, <laughs> <laughs> you pay what you owe. I man. asked for plutonium that one year. The bastard didn't bring it. I want a motherfucking bike. What six-year-old wants a motherfucking bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Thor's Chris Hemsworth is reportedly in line to be the star of Robocalypse, which is the next big film by Steven Spielberg. Terminator minus Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I wish so be dark com- and depressing, but sort of funny. <laughs> I wish there was a comic now with that. <laughs> uh, the world's completely destroyed, and but he's not the, the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> <it's in there. laughs> wow, this is just bleak. <laughs> well, to pretty much firm up, as you said, the title of upcoming Marvel movies, The Hurt Locker's Anthony Mackie will play Falcon in the new Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Cool. So, yeah, yep, we're pretty much going down, or we're covering that one, so. At least we're finally getting a black hero. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Insiders <laughs> indicate that after the Dark Knight Rises and Man of Steel, we are facing a DC dry spell. AKA, there's nothing else in the fucking works. That was because the they're one. not good at that. They literally don't know how to make uh, make a movie production and then you know make something that sells and then keep doing it. It's not their forte. I, this is why I'm, I, I, think, I always I wonder why they don't just put their animated vision, animated ones on, on screen. I think this is more along the lines of how, how are we going to do the Justice League? Even if it's just that, it's there's no reason to have a complete just nothingness. Oh, I know, and then but you're all thinking about how to, how to make this like... Mm-mm. I mean, yeah, you've got Superman, but you're rebooting Batman again. You're still missing a couple other characters, and you want to get to the Justice League. Yeah. It's like... You gotta lay and the groundwork it, for it. Yeah, but I mean, and, and if they were gonna do it, they should start doing it like that. I mean, we've already had the constant rumors of, oh, we're gonna get a Flash. Still haven't heard on that. Oh, I know. We're, we're supposed to get, you know, another character. I know. The best line that I heard this week was, I love it. We're getting a talking raccoon and a giant tree before we get a damn Flash movie. Totally okay with that. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm mad. There's a difference. So are you, go, are you going to go boycott Guardians just because you're not getting a Flash movie? I should. Or are you just going to wear a Flash shirt to it? Yeah, <laughs> that would be more me. Wait, this isn't the Je- Justice League? Jealousy and anger. They don't ever go hand in hand. <laughs> oh, and then our last stories of the week kind of go together. Um, but Warner Brothers has pulled the trailer for Gangster Squad, their upcoming gangster movie 
because and it may be delayed because of reshoots because of there's there's a scene in the trailer involving a theater shooting aka as we all know the midnight showing in Colorado a gunman killed 12 and wounded 36 uh, at the premiere of The Dark Knight Rises, or The Midnight Showing in Colorado. Aurora. So, of Dead course... Of emergency, 9-11. Yeah. <clears throat> so. so, it's sad that it, they had to change the film this close to it coming out because of that, but I can understand it, and I'm pretty sure I speak for all of us that we send our thoughts and our well wishes to everybody in Aurora over what has happened. That, uh, wasn't that what happened to, um, movie with Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller and Jonah Hill? Um, The Watch or... The Watch? What about is it The Watch? Oh, watch. I, I heard that had to get pushed back because of the Trayvon Martin thing. Okay. I heard. I don't know if that's for sure. I hadn't heard anything on okay. that one, that's so... Yeah. News to money. So, kind of sad news and movie news on, but... Unfortunately, it's a reality. Thank you for taking us down there. Yeah, you know me. I like to bring it depre- bring the depressing overtone to the end of it. I think even Ben would probably say this is worse than where I lived. <laughs> <laughs> so, but with all that, that does bring movie news to a close for this week. But make sure you stay with us as we do still have comic news to cover. So make sure you don't go anywhere as we will be right back.